It's time to dish. One of the big stories today is actually an exclusive right here in the studio. Uh, Libby Weaver has, I think, perhaps the hottest pair of, of pumps I've oh. ever seen. These are such, uh, I don't, uh, Thanks. we can't really see the bottoms up in that way. How do we get a one, here, can we get a, can we get a shot of her foot, please? Can we get a shot of her foot? This is getting her uncomfortable. Her there. Look how cool those shoes are. And, but you can't see. No, you can't see my toes. <laughs> she only did toenail polish on the one toe that sticks out the end of the <laughs> no, shoe. Two. You are such there's a loser. You, I'm going to so get you for that. It's like, ah, forget I'm the other so, four. No one will no, see those. I, oh, it's terrible. You can't only nail polish one toe. You want to talk about feet, Hello. pal? What? Do the math. There's two painted. If there's oh, there's two. All right. Unpainted, she's got six toes. Well, and, and, you didn't hear from me. Guess what? He's talking about feet. I know, seriously. What? You want to show your toes, babe? No, my producer says I can't show my feet on TV. No, no it would scare the children. Oh, absolutely. Let's get straight to the dish today, other than Libby's feet. How about this? I know I look pasty, undernourished, and like I have And shiny. <laughs> that wasn't in the script, Libby. Oh, oh that's shiny, yeah. This is all because I'm getting ready. I'm getting in character for this weekend. As you know, we have the Denver exclusive. We're heading out to L.A. Friday to interview the entire cast of New Moon! Woo! So here's the deal. We just got confirmation. We will be talking one-on-one -on -one with Robert, Kristen, and Taylor. So I want to know what you want me to ask them. Email me on our Everyday page or on my Facebook page. Hit me up. What would you want me to ask these guys? And I'll ask your questions. Boom! As we report live from Los Angeles in just 48 hours from now. I can't wait. Hey, Sean Penn was once the bad boy, and like father, like son, 16-year-old Hopper Penn has been arrested on drug charges. Happened at his high school in Malibu last week. Sources say the teen was taken into custody by L.A. Sheriff's officials. No word yet on what kind of drugs he had, but I hate to hear stories like that, and I hope mm -hmm. he turns around fast. You know, I often call Libby late at night crying on her shoulder about why I'm always left at the altar. <laughs> By the way, her husband hates that. Just He does hate it when I call. He hates, those midnight, he hates those midnight calls. It's a good thing that I'm not the only one who's a hot mess. Say hello to my equally unstable friend and the newly released tapes that prove it, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> She is. I feel sorry for her, actually, because Raider Online got their hands, Raider Online, uh, of these breakdown phone calls that she made to her dad. And in the messages, she just goes on and on, begging for help, crying, sobbing, and talking mostly about her failed romance with DJ Samantha Ronson. Who, who got the tape? Who, who well, recorded the phone call you know, and then released it? You know, Daddy? she's in... Yeah. Oh, for goodness uh, Isn't sakes. her dad kind of messed up? Her dad's equally yeah, messed up. Yeah. Well, he I, a I do think. With his daughter and yeah, and I. It? That's not fair. That's it isn't sad. fair. Mm. Well, I feel bad that I aired it. You God, should. I, you sh should. I feel terrible. You should. Well, I felt like I had some, something to relate to her with. It's like your Michael Jackson story yesterday. We're we going to get, get into that. that. No, we will get into that. Oh, We're going to head out to L.A. right now oh, with no. TMZ.com. And uh, Dax Did is out there. Story? Mm -hmm. Colorado oh. native. Dax, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, but I got to say. Michael Lohan is a scumbag. Thank you. He really is, you guys. Yeah, nice I agree. Biggest scumbag on the planet. And yeah. when I heard these tapes this morning, it really, really ticked me off. I was like, what father in his right mind would put out a tape like that of his daughter yeah. who's crying and sobbing? And, and he's just publicizing himself. He's trying to get money. He obviously sold those. And, and he's contacted us a lot of times. And every time we say no, we're like, go away, dude. This is your daughter that you're just whoring out there in the public. I'm like... You're a father. What are you doing? Way to go, Dax. Way to go, Dax. Nice Way to go, Dax. How you feel, Dax? That's a castle you block go, attitude. Sorry. Now listen. Just that he really makes me mad. <laughs> we can tell. I, I don't want. I don't want to further upset you or Dave Frazier, but he. Frazier couldn't believe this story about Michael Jackson, and it's sort of a delicate story, but you guys broke this. A big exclusive uh, that Michael Jackson had an unusual habit, uh, uh, to say the least. Well, yes. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Harvey, my boss, sat down with Arnie Klein, who was one of Michael Jackson's best friends for years and years and years. And, and Arnie told him how Michael did not molest any children back in 1993. That the fact that the reason this kid knows so much so much detail about Michael Jackson's genitals was because Michael liked to pee in front of people. Oh. He said he would do it all the time. Told you. I know it sounds bizarre, but this is what Arnie oh, said. He said in his house he would pee in cups. In the doctor's office he would pee in cups. I mean all the time. So that's why the kid had seen him pee, and that's why he knew what it all looked like. 
Oh, come he, on. He liked to pee in public. So Lovely. This is thriller. <laughs> and I'm not saying that that's, that makes it right at all. <laughs> that doesn't make the situation better by any means because he's pulling it out in front of children. But <laughs> yeah. I, okay, I, we need to get this is getting <laughs> off track fast. Uh, uh, but you know what? It's it is fascinating to say the least. So let's talk about mm. please one wholesome story. Can we please get up out of the gutter long enough to talk about Miss California's triple X <laughs> sex tape? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Very clean, very clean. Uh, here's the thing, she was trying to sue Miss California, the, the pageant, and, and say she wanted all this money, she wanted a million dollars, they were going to court, they settled, and she walked out with zero money. Um, the pageant's going to pay for $100,000 worth of Carrie's lawyer's bills and her publicist, but she gets no money, and here's what happened. She went in there, the pageant said, here, take a look at this video we have of you, and it was the triple X sex tape that she was she was in and Carrie goes mm, okay I want nothing I want this over with in about 15 seconds it was all done and she left with zero money Jeez. And now wow. a special treat. We're going to show that tape on. <laughs> yeah. Of course no, not. We, we, were, we were offered this tape like months ago and we said absolutely not. No way. We are not airing this thing. Ew. I, I appreciate that. If any tapes come to you uh, with me in them you'll do the same right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we may have a burning party. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I'll see you. I'm going to be out there in L.A. Friday, Dax. I'll, you and I will hang out. I'll see you then. All right. Sounds good, man. Famous Come last on by. words. I'll never see him again. <laughs> no. He runs. They've already the locked, guy, they've they already locked, locked the, the door. door. He's in Orange County by now. Yeah. Hey, you know, Libby's got a wild side. Mm -hmm. I mean, you already saw the two painted toenails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Libby ain't got nothing on Nicole Kidman. Oh. In the new British GQ, Kidman lets loose. The 42-year-old mom says her marriage to Keith Urban is, quote, raw and, quote, dangerous. Ooh. She says she's explored it all with him. Ooh. Loss and love, strange Ooh. sexual fetishes, Ooh. and then also the mundane aspects of marriage, like monogamy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she does say of marriage, I think this is actually kind of a cool quote. She says, it's very extraordinary. It's adventurous, incredibly raw, incredibly dangerous and you're very much out to sea. Do you believe that? Yeah. I think What's, she's 40, that's, she's the same age I am, yeah. 42. Uh-huh. Yeah. Was something wrong with that video? <laughs> no. All right, finally, you know I do a great Mickey Mouse impression, uh -huh. don't you? No. You want to hear me say it really yeah. quick? How about this, ready? Here's my Mickey Mouse. Ha ha, ji ni mien, ji hao, zi yang. No? Would you please work with me here? I like the cowardly lion better. Yeah. That's Mickey speaking Chinese. Oh, okay. For good reason. We've learned now that Mickey and his pals are heading to China. Disneyland Shanghai. What? Got the green light. It's going to be Disney's sixth theme park. Will take many years to construct and will cost $3.5 billion. Is that going to work? The problem, they already have a theme park actually in Hong Kong right. that has kind of suffered a little Didn't bit. Didn't they put one in France and yes, the French they showed have up one. and went, yeah, they do. Wee wee, it's a mouse. Yeah. It's... And they were done with it? You are so They're Archie Bunker serious. today. They did. The parks are doing fine, Frazier. And we'll all broadcast from Shanghai when oh, the park opens. Yeah, sure he will. Oh, right. I bet he will. Yeah, yeah. yeah will. We'll yeah, be stuck here. I'll be there. Exactly. All right. We got more coming up yeah. next. Being a teenager is tough enough without having to worry about, you know, troubled skin. Yeah, but acne isn't or isn't inevitable, and it is treatable, even without powerful prescriptions. We're going to tell you what your teens need to be doing to keep their skin blemish-free.